The Gambia, for example, needs professional police uh, for the obvious uh, mandate, and this is what the people demand. Uh, whereas right now we know that in some aspect the police is not structured, neither equipped the right way. Many are saying in the country, and there is a sort of uh, consensus in that regard, that uh, during the Jamais time, the armed forces have been ballooned up in terms of numbers, not necessarily well equipped either. So the challenge for the government is also to make a rationalization of what is available. Perhaps some, tra uh, some personnel should be or could be transferred, retrained and transferred from one security service to another one. In, in other words, cutting down the army? Well, I don't want to simplify it like cutting down the army, because the armed forces are more than just the army. I'm not judging whether the president is right or not. I'm not judging whether uh, three years Yotna is right or wrong. What I am saying is they are expressing their views and they shall be allowed to express their views because freedom of expression is a cornerstone of any democracy in anywhere in the world. We need be disappointed if people in like numbers take to the streets in December to push for the president to step down. Well, if the demonstration is authorized because they follow the, the rules and they got the permit for demonstration, they go for demonstration. It's not really up to me whether I like it or not. Uh, for me, what is important that the rule of law is the name of the game in the country, that freedom of expression is indeed ensured, even under difficult circumstances. At this stage of democracy in the country, there is room for improving political financing, party financing, campaign financing, because we do believe that voters, they need to know who is behind these financing issues. Yeah.